The final kind of radiation we're going to look at is gamma radiation, and for that we're using the school's cobalt-60 source. And this is stored again in a lead-lined box, and actually, without taking it out of the box, we can see that gamma radiation has a very high penetrating power because the Geiger-Muller tube is detecting the radiation even though the source is inside the box. Whereas if I put the strontium-90 beta source or the plutonium-239 alpha source, then we're not detecting much radiation through the box. Okay, let's actually get the cobalt-60 source out of its box and demonstrate its penetrating power a bit more clearly. So, once again, we need to remove the lead and take out the source of the cobalt-60 and pop that into the holder. And I'll move it a little bit closer. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that if you move the cobalt-60 source further away, you get less radiation detected, and if you move it closer, you get more radiation detected. Now, with the gamma radiation, that's almost entirely due to the fact that it spreads out in lots of different directions, so if it's further away, more of the radiation actually misses the tube. So, let's have a look at its penetrating power. So, if you remember, alpha radiation was stopped by paper. Does paper have any effect on the gamma radiation? No, the gamma radiation passes straight through the paper. What about aluminium? So a few millimetres of aluminium stopped the beta radiation, but if I put the same piece of aluminium in between there, the gamma radiation is passing through the aluminium almost as if it wasn't there. So clearly gamma radiation has a high penetrating power. Um, what could we try that is more dense than <coughs> aluminium? Let's try a really thick piece of lead. And so here we've got well over a centimetre of lead. And if we put that in, even over a centimetre of lead is not stopping very much of the gamma radiation. So gamma radiation, the most penetrating kind of radiation, only stopped by very thick lead or metres of concrete. So now time for me to put the cobalt-60 source, which gives out gamma radiation, carefully back into the, its lead-lined box.